Where are we going? Phoenix. Extreme freedom. All right, so we went to Sean's event. We uh, landed on Wednesday evening-ish. Headed over to the hotel, grabbed some dinner. Got the hockey stadium right here. I guess it's not a stadium, it's an arena. Oh, Louis, cool spot. If you aren't here from Extreme Freedom, you gotta be here. Hit the event the next day, starting around uh, 9 a.m. for VIP day. Uh, hung out in the room with probably, probably 30 people in there or so. Uh, hung out with the VIPs, helped them figure out how to get their business to the next level. If you go to an event, VIP day is, is the way to go. Uh, spending that additional time, uh, I, I don't wanna say one-on-one, -on -one, but you know, instead of hundreds of people in the event, you've got a small room with multiple speakers, with proven business models, helping people get to that next level. So. VIP is always the way to go at these events. You get that extra time. Figure, hey, you're flying out there. Any of these events you're going to, spend that extra time. Make sure you guys get your bang for your buck. So Scott wants a coffee and place inside the hotel closed. Makes no sense. There's a couple events going on, so. People need the coffee. So now I gotta walk away from the hotel, go to Dutch Bros and grab some coffee. It's a nice day out though. Coffee's for closers only. You know like when someone does something they think is just so above and beyond, they really just need to like just pound at home again and again. Well, that's what he's been doing since then. He acts like he walked across like a frozen tundra or something. Whatever, we'll give it to him. He used his legs. Apparently is the best thing in the world. So I'm proud of him. Backstage at Extreme Freedom. My team is just getting contracts today. I keep seeing these come in over text. They are killing it while I'm here helping other investors get their business going. It's been a knockout week. So we got a lot of stuff going on, going on in the background. Uh, we have our Corona flip that's currently being remodeled. They're finishing up uh, the last final touches in about a week or so. We got uh, landscaping going on, all that good stuff. And on top of all of that, we have the electricians in the office working on the new electricity for the studio and all that good stuff. So it's been a very hectic week. But every time he calls my name, it usually means I'm in trouble. Dylan, good news, you're not in trouble. Oh wow, Nick, did you hear that? I'm not in trouble for once. We're calling Scott. Hey Scott, uh, I have Dylan here and uh, he wanted to tell you that something happened today. Go ahead Dylan, tell him what happened. Hey Scott, how are you? Oh, you know, I can tell this is going to be positive because of my exploits. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, today was our sixth closing of the week. There it is! There's a thing around the office when Scott leaves, uh, for some reason we just tend to crush it in contracts. We get a ton of contracts and uh, Scott has mentioned a couple times that if we get enough contracts while he's going, he just won't come back. So we're just gonna keep killing it. All right, so Friday was the first day of the event. I love the first day of an event. Everyone shows up ready to go. Uh, I presented on getting started, how to get started in your business, going back to the basics, which is easier said than done. Like I haven't done that in, you know, five, six years now. So really stepping back to when I got started and what KPIs to track, how to get started, started sending marketing, how to talk to sellers. So we jumped into that on day one. Uh, there were so many great speakers that day. Uh, it's cool just to sit and listen to people and see how even people that I know run their businesses, right? Everyone runs their businesses different and it's cool to see how we do things versus how they do things. Even I can walk away from an event like that and come away with uh, pointers that'll help me get to the next level. All right, so after the event was out, uh, I always recommend going out to dinner with people, networking. First night I went out with some of the other speakers, uh, went and had some drinks, some dinner, just talked about what we're doing in our businesses. Uh, second night went out with uh, Sean and his team, uh, spent some time talking to about how the event was, and uh, of course we get into other things like stocks and things like that, but it's always good just to spend time with people and network. Networking is so important. You're thinking about going to bed, don't, right? Just go out and have a drink with someone because you never know what you're gonna learn. You're at these events to learn, make every single minute count, and just spend time with 
everyone there, get phone numbers, build relationships, and keep talking to these people as you go forward. This is something that I really enjoy doing. An outstanding example of modern architecture. In the end, life and business are about human connections. All right, the last day was pretty cool. We spent time in the room with the people that signed up for Sean's mastermind, uh, the Syndicate Nine Mastermind. So we were able to spend time with these people. So it was a smaller group. We talked about deals that we've had and issues we've had on deals. Uh, then we questioned them on what they would do when these issues occur, like issues with title and things like that. Kind of help them get past roadblocks that most likely they're going to occur as their investing career continues. Um, but they also get a lot of opportunity to kind of just uh, see us off stage, right? And ask us questions regarding things that they've always kind of wondered. There's personal questions, there's business questions. And uh, it was kind of cool to, to spend time with a smaller group of people and just take that time, just be open, answer all the questions they had. When I'm at these events, I try to spend as much time with people as I can too. Uh, I'm not running off and going hiding in my hotel room. I want people to feel like they can approach me. I want to be approachable. These are, these are opportunities for people to come ask questions and, uh, you know, just don't ask me while I'm standing at the urinal or something like that. Wait till I at least walk out of the bathroom. Um, if you don't wash your hands, don't come try to shake my hand, right? Um, let's, just, let's just have conversations. If you see me at these events, come stop me. Let's have a conversation. I'd love to make time for as many people as I can. Then at that point, we wrapped up the event, uh, took some pictures and headed out. All right, that was a recap of Extreme Freedom 2021. Make sure you guys all check out Sean's Mastermind, Syndicate Nine Mastermind. Uh, awesome place to be. I'll be in the room with Sean couple others helping you guys uh, get your businesses to the next level. So hope to see you guys there.